First at four, the U.S. Supreme Court has upheld our state's new heartbeat law written by East Texas State Senator Brian Hughes. The 5-4 decision deals a major blow to abortion advocates. And it could have implications in other states across the country. Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. Today, a new front in the deeply contentious culture war over abortion. In a 5-4 ruling overnight, the U.S. Supreme Court allowing Texas to keep in force the most restrictive law against abortions in the nearly 50 years since Roe v. Wade. It's going to be nearly impossible for folks to access the care that they need. The Texas law, signed by Republican Governor Greg Abbott in May, forbids abortions once fetal cardiac activity is detected, usually around six weeks, before many women know they're pregnant. But instead of state officials enforcing the law, individuals can now sue anyone who helps someone get an abortion, from medical providers to relatives, even an Uber driver. And they could face damages of up to $10,000. We are going to fight and continue fighting until this law is stopped. President Biden condemned the law for interfering in what he called the most personal health decisions women face. His attorney general vowing to evaluate all options to protect the constitutional rights of women. Governor Greg Abbott today standing by his state's new law. There's a lot of businesses and a lot of Americans uh, who like uh, the social positions that the state of Texas is taking. For opponents of abortion rights, it's a landmark moment that they hope offers a roadmap for other states to pass similar restrictions. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.